All right, guys, it is Thursday. Uh, I got the part, I got the spacer. I'll show you over here. So here's the arm we're gonna be changing out. Here's the spacer we're gonna be putting on and a brand new belt. So I've already got this loosened up. We're gonna take the arm off. I've loosened the belt up, nine, nine sixteenths right here. Pull it out of the way, pop the belt off. Nine sixteenths up here, nine sixteenths underneath. Nut comes off. Put all your parts over there. This bolt's gonna fall down through. See, that hole, spacer, washer. There's the old spacer, wasn't nothing wrong with it, but now I've got a spare. So this will be my spare. And all we've got to do now is take this pulley off. And also this bolt right here that the spring connects to. All right, so I've already checked the bearings in this one. They seem just fine. So we've got a 9 16 bolt, 9 16 nut. Pop this off. All right, that seemed to come off and out pretty easy like it should. While I've got this out, I am going to clean this off. Get some of that crud out of there just so that that bearing doesn't get seized up. All right, as you can see, we got it cleaned up. Now we got to take the, and this is where the spring connects to. It looks like it's going to be 9 sixteenths as well. We'll go ahead and take that off. I know some of y'all are probably looking like, why don't y'all put this in a bench vise and make it easier to work on? Well, I don't have one, but I am going to be buying two of them. Why am I going to be buying two of them? Well, I broke my dad's trying to get these bearings out, so not on this one. On this one. Look how nasty that is. That was bad. Oh, all right. We got our bolt back on there. Now we're going to figure out how this goes back on, just like that. And got our washer. Or that piece. Line this up and throw the bolt through the bottom. Tighten our nut. Got the new belt. And I like to use a 15 16 whenever I am putting the belt back on. What I do, take my 9 16 and I cheat a little bit. So, y'all seen that combination before? You've probably been around mechanics. So, that's a little cheater bar. Be able to pull that open, and I'll show you, of course, when we get to that point. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and take this belt all the way off, because we're done with it. This is gonna be my spare belt now. Drop that down in there. Grab our bolt, spacer, and nut. Push that 
bolt up through. Spacer. And nut. We'll get that tightened up. So as y'all can see, that's what I do. And then pull that. Like I said, that thing's gonna tighten up some more. And that's fine. And still tightening up, but get to a certain point where it stops tightening. Don't pay their attention. belts on we are back in business we're going to continue this video out friday see you tomorrow all right guys so it is tomorrow already i know it's quick when it's on video so anyways we just pulled up the first yard going to jump off see how the skag acts with the new idler tension pulley arm bearing spacer and new belt pretty excited so let's jump off See how smooth she acts. Well guys, I seem to think that the uh, skag is holding up. It's uh, definitely not as vibration-y now, so uh, I'm not sure if that makes sense, if it does. guys we're done we are back in the shed hope you all enjoyed a little bit of that mowing footage unfortunately i gotta work tomorrow uh because one of my customers she had some <clears throat> she had a stroke and she's gonna be on a walker for a little while and her situation at home she's got uh downstairs she can either go in and walk up or the front but it is like at the road and it's kind of hard to get to so what we're going to be doing is uh fixing her up some pavers that way she can go through upstairs with her walker and not have to go up the 13 some odd steps from the ground from the 
bottom floor up. So I'm gonna try and help her out there. And I got a couple of yards left over from today to cut. Um, I still could be out cutting, but one of the yards is, uh, they're actually getting a bunch of siding put on and they were supposed to be done Wednesday. I mowed the yard on Thursdays and they were still there yesterday when I pulled up to mow and then they were supposed to be done at noon today and I showed up at about three o'clock and they were still there. So I'm going to try and go, I'm going to save that yard for last tomorrow. If not, then I guess I'll just have to have a talk with them and say, hey, we're going to have to have a high grass charge for cutting, you know, if we move it into the next Thursday. So, <clears throat> but the house looks really good. I'll be sure to show you. They had like a, a light blue and now it's like a navy. It's really nice. Um, sticker swap? Sticker swap. So, I was at my dealer the other day and he said, hey man, put us up on the board. So, it's cool lawn equipment. They gave me a sticker and now they're going to be up on the board. And I'm going to put them right here. Make sure they're on there straight as possible. There we go. Got you up on the board, buddy. Appreciate the sticker, by the way. I know I've already got one of them on my lawnmower, but you gave me that one when I bought the mower. So, Sequoia Lawn Equipment. They're my Skag dealership. They also sell Echo stuff and Shindawa and I think Cub Cadet, if I'm not mistaken, but I don't need a Cub Cadet. But if you are in or near the Chattanooga area and you need something for your skag or you need an echo or you need a skag or you need an echo or you need a shindawa sequoia lawn equipment it's the place to go y'all go check them out tell them jazzy sent you <laughs> but guys i am going to be working tomorrow and i will be unboxing this tomorrow i'm very excited for it you don't know how long i've waited for this to come in i ordered it back in june and it was on back order and the lady even called me and she said, hey, before I go ahead and put this in the system, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, you're looking at mid-September before it comes in, which I said, no problem, I can wait. As soon as I got the email about two days ago that it was shipping, I was so excited. I was so excited. I said, all right, I've been waiting three months for this. Let's get it, let's get it. And it is here, it is here, fragile. It's not glass, by the way. <laughs> so I hope y'all had an awesome Friday. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Shoot me a thumbs up. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Perfect.